everybody. Welcome back to The Joy of Living. How's everybody doing today? Let me tell you, today is a very, very, very exciting day for me. I spent the last two years, since 2018, working on these products and trying to get these products out. I did a lot of research and development, did a lot of trial runs, went out there, tested it, and made sure that I perfected my product. And today, I'm launching my online catalog, and I'm launching my products, and everything that's in my catalog is on this table. And we're going to go through each and one of those products today. And I'm excited. I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys support me. Um, pass the word along. Pass the catalog along. And let's go ahead and go out there and have some fun. And I'm going to launch a catalog every single year. Now, if, if you want a copy of my catalog, my digital catalog, go ahead and send me an email to thejoyoflivingcalifornia at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me an email. I'll shoot you a catalog. And let's go out there and have some fun, okay? So in this episode here i want to go through each item that i have um i have a lot more than this there's some that's in uh, development right now but these are the ones that i wanted to launch out first now keep this in mind i spent two years researching i didn't want just to throw out anything if you want to go and make your own and try to duplicate it at home for personal use Hey, go right on ahead. That's why I do tutorials online uh, on my YouTube page so everybody see how they are done. So I want to share them with you and I want to launch this online catalog. And I hopefully, you know, we all could go out there and have some fun, ca uh, catch a bunch of crabs. So I'm excited. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and go into these individual items. And there's a bunch of them, but I broke it down. Now, again, remember, everything I'm about to tell you is on the catalog. So go ahead and read through the catalog, and you'll get all the shipping, the pricing, um, the description, the details, pictures. Everything will be on there, okay? So go ahead. Again, remember, if you want a catalog, send an email to the Joy of Living. California at gmail.com and say, hey, I saw your YouTube page. I saw that you have an online catalog. Can you send me one? Now, we now that we have that out the way, let's go ahead and take a look at these individual snares, okay? This is, I know it looks like a bunch of snares, and I know that it looks very clutter, but there's always organized chaos, all right? So there's organization to this chaos here, and this is how you tell the snares. In my snares, the moon snares, First is the three different type of loops that I'm throwing out. First is the butterfly loops, okay? These are the loops that span out, and these loops are epoxy. So there's epoxy to the edges of these loops at the ends where they connect to the cage. So there is epoxy there to hold it in place a lot better, okay? So these are the butterfly snares. These are the stingray snares. These snares are the ones that are loose. They're flat. They flap around. They're not um, stuck to one place, so they're loose. The stingray snares. And then over here, I have my dragonfly snares. These are the snares that stands up vertical and spreads out. So first, the loop design. What kind of loops you want? The butterfly, the stingray, or the dragonfly, okay? The second thing is the way you want your lead. The design, the front row, these are the moon's original snares right here, up here. These are the ones where the lead are melted on to the cage. So they're melted on completely. Those are the moon's original crab snares on the first row. The second row are moon's platinum snares, okay? These platinum snares, these are plated lead weights. So they're molded and then they're stuck inside the cage. It's completely different from melting the lead directly onto the cage, okay? So these platinum snares, they have lead weights that are inserted into the cage and there's a big difference with those. So those are the platinum snares. These last row, these are my stinger snares. These are the snares with the stinger design on the end and they come in different weights, so there's weight options um, on the each snare. So check the catalog and you pick out what weight you like and you'll see all the information there as well. So these are the Moon Stinger snares. They have the stingers at the end here um, and these come in two, always in two. So these are the different designs and that's how you tell. First is the loop. Second is the type of design you want. Do you want the original snares? Do you want the platinum snares? Or do you want the stinger snares? The last part is which cage style do you want? Do you want the Twinkie cage? Or do you want the brownie cage? 
Okay? And that's the choices. So that's what you get to choose from. And those are very important. So let's go over that one more time because I know that's, that's a lot, right? Let's go over it one more time. First, it's the loops. Do you want the butterfly, the stingray, or the dragonfly loops? Second, do you want the original moon snares where they're melted onto the cage? Do you want the platinum snares where they're inserted into the cage? Or do you want the stingers snares where they're attached to the end? And then once you figure that out, you figure out do you want the Twinkie cage or the brownie cage? That's simple. Now in my catalog, there are each item, each snare is an item number. So you go through each one and you'll see the item number for each one. So these are the snares that I have. Now let's go into details about each individual snare real quick, okay? So when it comes to the butterfly Twinkie, this is one of my top snare. This is number two on my snare. Um, this is the one that I use the most out of everything. I have a number one, number two, and number three. So this is my number two snare right here that I go to. And I love these snares right here. This is where the lead is melted on. And as you can see, they're epoxy. These butterfly snares, as well as these dragonfly snares, are the only ones that have epoxy on the ends to make sure that they stay in place. And that gives it an extra stability that you don't get if you don't put any epoxy there. Now, it takes a little bit more work, it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more materials, but at the end of the day, I want you to guys to keep in mind that when I created these products, and it goes back to my videos that I put out two years ago. So I have videos that I put out on these snares that I've been describing along the way during my research and trial development. So during that time, um, I, uh, I made sure that I created the best snares at the cheapest rate, but with good materials. I don't want horrible materials, but I can't spend the most expensive either. So these materials right here, they're great materials. They're high grade materials. They're not the most expensive, but they're not the cheapest either. And these snares right here, they're quick to make, but they're dedicated to the craft. I'm so dedicated to my craft that I make sure that everything is in pitch perfect order before they're sent out. I want you to have a good experience. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, if you buy two snares and something goes bad and you're having a bad time with your kid and you take your kid out there and they're not having a good time because the snares are all bad, that's a horrible feeling. The whole point of this is for you to go out there and have fun. And I want you to make sure you have the right materials when you go out there so you don't have any worries. So that's the butterfly snare. And these wings are passed uh, uh, further out and these are the Moon's original snares where they're melted on. The second one is the plated platinum snares, the butterfly platinum snares. And these platinum, again, they're uh, epoxy as well because they're butterfly loops and their lead weight is placed into the cage. So the lead weight is all the way in. Um, and that way it's stabilized, uh, stabilized as you can see. So that's the platinum one, um, and again, it comes in two different uh, cage style, either the Twinkie or the uh, Brownie cage. And then, of course, the last butterfly one is the Stinger, and I'm proud of these things right here. These things have been in development and test trial for a long time to make sure that, one, it doesn't get stuck on these loops here, okay, and cause a problem. Two, it balances it out correctly so it's not leaning to one side or another or causing it to stay up. And three, making sure that it's balanced so that way when you pull in the crab that you get a stability streamline and that the weights aren't hitting it and it's roughing it and go all the way and makes you lose your crab. So these right here, these stingers have been tested out and they're great. And again, all these come in different weight size. Second, the stingrays. So these thing rays right here, take a look. Um, these thing rays are loose. The ends are loose. They're not epoxy like the dragonfly and the butterfly. And they're loose and they let out. And again, same thing. We have our most original snares, uh, sting ray snares where they're melted on. And these, I love these. These work great in uh, especially horrible weather uh, where the currents and the surf tend to be very rough. So therefore they flap uh, the loops around and cause it to tangle up with the crabs. So these work great in bad weathers. Now the second one on the Stingray, again, is the Platinum Stingrays. So these are the Platinum Snares. They're inserted with the, plate, the plated lead and these are Stingray loops. And again, Twinkie Cage, Brownie Cage. And then, of course, the last one is the stingers. These are the stingray stingers. And these are the ones that, again, are loose. And they have the sti uh, stingers on the back. 
Again, two different cage uh, style. And then, of course, we're going to go over here to the dragonfly. Again, these dragonfly loops are stood up. And if you watch my videos on how to make crab snares, again, to make a great loop on a crab snare, it's not just about bending, folding, and crimping to make sure it stays on there. You have to know which way to crimp your line. You have to know how far to crimp your line. You need to know how far your distance of your loop should be so that way it doesn't flip over, flop over, and it stands up straight. So these are the original moon snares, original, original. Like this is the first loop that I made. These are the first cages that I perfected. And this is my first model. So when it comes to the Moon Snares original uh, Dragonfly, this is the melted on lead and again 2K style and they're spread out. When it comes to the Dragonfly and you know it's the Moon Snare Dragonfly uh, snare, it's because the loops, they're always four at each corner. So they're always on the corner and one on each side. There's never three on the side and three on the other side. It's always corner, 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 side, side. That's how you know it's a moon snare. Now, that way it has eco coverage because if you put all the loops on one side, you're missing the front and the back, and that could cause you to lose the crabs. By having it spread out, you cover a wider area, and more coverage, more wider area, equal more crabs, okay? So those are the Moon Snares Original Dragonfly. Next is the Dragonfly Platinum Snares. These Platinum Dragonfly Snares are the ones, again, with the uh, plated lead that's put inside. And again, these are epoxy. So all butterfly and all dragonfly loops are epoxy. The only loop that's not epoxy are the Stingray loops. Now, those are the plated one. And then, of course, the last one are the uh, Stingers, the Dragonfly Stingers. And these stingers, again, they're great. They've been tested it out. And the difference between all this, the difference is um, how much bait you can put in your cage, um, how much weight you have, and how far you want to cast it out. Pretty much that's the biggest difference. And with these snares, I didn't want to make it too big to where you can't cast it out far. You want to cast it out as far as you can. I didn't want to make it too small to where you can't put enough bait in there. You want some bait in there. So I made it the perfect dimension to where you can cast it out far and put enough bait in there so that way you don't jeopardize um, the crabs coming to your snare because there's a lot of bait and scent coming out. So these snares have been, again, tested and tested, trial, developed, and making sure that all the errors, even down to the finest point, has been looked into to make sure that they're updated and corrected before they even pushed out. These snares are great. I'm not going to tell you who they are. Um, that's for a different episode. But in the Bay Area, there's about five top crap snare makers. Um, and let me tell you, their snares are awesome. They're great. They work. You know? And let me tell you, I'm out there and I've seen snares that are bought from Walmart been used like 20 times look horrible and they still catch crabs so to say who has the number one top snares that's hard to say because who's the most effective um who gets luckier but at the end of the day it's down to the detail who spends more time on their detail and let me tell you all the snares are awesome they're great um and i love the fact that you know we have a small group to where we are so crafted into our product that we are creative to create our own okay so i want you to see a lot of these products and i hopefully just support some bay area vendors and again these i love these snares they work they're great matter of fact try them out and take some pictures send me some videos and i'll throw you on the uh, throw your pictures on the catalog and i'll throw your videos on my next youtube videos when i do um another review of these craft snares so these are the moon snares you guys introduction to the moon snares butterfly Stingray, Dragonfly, Moon's Original Snares, Moon's Platinum Snares, Moon's Stinger Snares, okay? Look at the catalog. Now that we went over these snares, I want to introduce you guys to the Craft Snare Accessories. So you're thinking, what are Craft Snares Accessories? Let me tell you, I've been developing these products for the last two years, and I've been excited to launch them and get them out there. Uh, these products have been tested for a long time because I want to make sure that when they're pushed out and they're given to the public that there's no errors and so forth. So these are crab snares accessories, and we're going to go through each individual item. So the first item I'm very excited about is the Moons Crab attractor glow leader line okay and this product right here let's go ahead and take a look up close this product right here and it comes the pack comes in two 
And again, all the uh, information is in the catalog, so go ahead and take a look at the catalog. But this right here is the leader line, okay? And the leader line has a moon's uh, crab attracted glow on there. So that way, when you have this on your cage, it helps attract the crabs. So what you want to do, these are glow sticks, okay? And these, again, you can replace. So you take them out. So when you have your leader line, you replace your leader line right here, and you have this instead. So when you have this right here, it helps attract the crab a lot better. And this is what it looks like underwater. So when you remember, when your snare is underwater, it's dark. So this right here, so the waves and the swell is shaking your leader line, and it goes, you see that? So it flashes. So it creates a light attraction to the crabs. So these are the Moon's Crab Attractor Glow leader line. And they come two in a pack. And it's an easy attachment because it comes with one end where it's not crimped yet. So you can go ahead and cut this off, put this on, snap it back on. You have to get a crimping tool, crimp it down, and you're good to go. So again, take a look in the catalog. This is the Moon Crab Attractor Glow leader line. Next, I have the Single Barrel Moon Crab Glow Attractor Snap-On. So these right here, it comes two in a pack. Go ahead and take this off. We want to break it. There you go. You know, and these are glow sticks, stick them back in. And the great thing about this right here is you can stick it pretty much anywhere. So you just unscrew. Let's say you want to put it on your leader line. So you just snap it in, screw it tight. There you go. Again, this is the Moon Crab Attractor Glow Snap-On. So underwater, when it's on your leader line, this is what it looks like. And then also, it's also great that you can put it in a lot of places. You can go ahead and put it on your cage as well. So it helps attract the crab with the little glow that it has. Next, we have our double barrel moon crab attractor snap-on. So this right here, it has two times the glow. And it has one on each end. And the same like the single barrel, this is the double barrel where it has one on each end. So it gives you twice the light and the glow. So this is the same thing. Go ahead and unscrew and you can stick it anywhere. Screw it on onto your leader line. And give it that extra glow. So again, these are the Moon Crab Attractor Glow Double Barrel. Screw it onto your cage. Give it a different look. You can even screw it onto the back. Our next product is the Triple Barrel Moon Craft Attractor Glow Snap-On. So these snaps on right here, same thing, uh, just like the other ones, but they have three barrels. Three times the light. And same thing, you can snap it on to the leader line. And then tighten it up. And you can put it on, on almost anything. There you go. You can also put it onto the cage.
and in the dark underwater, it helps create a glow and attracts the crab. And on the catalog, you can also buy replaceable light glow sticks as well, okay? So these glow sticks that we have on here, you can buy them on the catalog as well. So check out the catalog. These are the Moon Crab Attractive Glow Snap-Ons. Awesome. The next item, these are replaceable lids. So let's say just in case the crabs are messing up your lids on top, instead of throwing the whole snare away, you just replace the lids. So this package comes with five lids and 10 clips for you to put onto your cage. Now, when you order these, make sure you differentiate between the brownie cage and the twinkie cage so that way you get the right lid size, okay? So that's very important when you do the order. So these right here, you can go home. Now, you have to get your own crimping tool in order to crimp these onto the cage, but that's just a good long-term investment. Now, if you want to know what the crimping tool is, look at my other videos on how to make the cage, and it has full explanation on there. So this package comes with five lids and 10 clips for you to replace your cage the next item the moon crab bait station again you see my videos in the past this allows you to hang all your baiting tools that you need to bait your uh, your snares and be able to keep your snares pre-bait ready to go and organized in one place this is great for the pier because it's able to slide in between the wood and the concrete so it's able to hold there you can use them almost anywhere where you can find two platforms and stick it in between the station right here allows you to keep your pliers your scissors your knives whatever you need to bait your cage in one organized area and the, with the wind blowing everywhere it won't blow over the edge and fall into the water you can also hang your pre-baked snares that's on there as well so that way you can switch it out in uh, in between casting so again the moon crab base station grab you one the next item that we have are the replacement hooks for the lids so these lids right here requires the rubber attached to the hook in order to keep the lid closed so just in case the crab or deterioration, somehow your, uh, your hook just breaks, you go ahead and replace it with another one ready to go. And this package comes with five. Again, take a look in the catalog. The next item are stingers. These are the single stingers where you can add weight onto the end of your snare to add a little bit more weight onto them. This comes with a leader line that's already crimped and attached to one end. And the other end has not been crimped, so that way you can adjust to whatever length you want your extra weight to go. These stingers are great for when the weather is very rough and it's just blowing your snare around. Uh, if your snare is blowing around, it's not going to catch anything. It needs to stay flat and still on the sand surface. So by adding the extra stinger on the back, that gives it a little bit more weight. So keep your snare down. Um, these stingers come in different weight size as well. The next items are replaceable loops. So these are cut out loops that has been crimped on one side accurately and correctly to make sure your snaring action is effective and it's not getting snagged or being dragged along anything. So these replaceable loops, there's two types. You can get the 100 pound clear line or you can get the 0.065 heptagon trimmer line. So these are the two lines you can get. These lines are standard and 12 inch. So they're cut at 12 inches, but there's different length as well that you can buy from. So take a look at the catalog. Now, when you buy these, they come in with six. There's six in one package. So you can replace your entire loop if you want on your snare. And this has one end already crimped correctly. So all you have to do is stick it in and crimp the other side to your snare. Now, these also come with six sleeves for you to attach. So that way you can crimp them. Now, you have to go buy the crimping tool, which are a pair of dykes, and they're a little bit of nothing. It's a good investment. So go ahead and get you a pair of dykes, and you can replace your loops anytime they go back. Okay, so the, again, this package comes with a set of six and six sleeves in there for you to replace. And they cut at 12 inches standard, but you can have longer lines if you want. Take a look at the catalog and they come in two different styles, either 100 pound clear lines or the 0.065 
heptagon trimmer line. The next item in the catalog, these are the bell hooks, okay? And these are very important because when you're casting that much weight out there, especially on the beach, and your bell snap in, your line is gonna snap and you're gonna lose your snare. There goes 10, 15, 20 bucks. And let me tell you, that happens a lot. Like literally every time I go out there, at least one or two and most maybe eight, 10 that I hear snap while I'm out there. So people lose snares like crazy because the bell snap back in. So these are very important. This is what it looks like. So you attach one end. Take a look up close. You attach one end to your reel. And then this hook right here holds onto your bell. So that way when you put it out and you're ready to cast, your bell, your hook will hold your bell in place. to make sure that your bell doesn't snap back in so you don't lose your snare. So this right here, the bell hook, let me tell you, that's going to save you a lot of money just by having this. And in a pack, it comes with five. The next item in the catalog is the Moon Snare Repair Kit. So this repair kit right here will give you everything you need to repair two snares, okay? So inside this kit, you're going to get 12 loops in order to replace two snares. So 12 loops and these loops, again, one side has already been pre-crimped to make sure your snaring is the most effective. It also comes with 12 sleeves for you to attach your loops onto your cage. It comes with two lid hooks to make sure you replace your hook to your lid so that way your lid doesn't open up. It comes with two leader lines with one side already crimped and the other side allow you to do a final attachment and adjustment before the crimping. And then it comes with two lids. And again, when you order, make sure you clarify if you want the brownie kit or the Twinkie kit so you can get the right lids. So it comes with two lids and four clips for you to replace two snares. Everything in here is a standard for you to be able to replace your snare. Again, the leader line, the loops, and the lid. The next item in the catalog are casting fingers. These casting fingers are very important so that way you don't cut your finger out there when you're casting your snare. Now let me tell you, these snares are very heavy and when you put your finger on the mono line and you cast it out, it's going to burn and cut and eventually it's going to cut through your skin. So it's going to cause a lot of pain. These casting fingers help prevent that and they come in three colors, black, red, and blue. Trust me, you need one of these. So take a look in the catalog and order you a casting finger. The last item in the catalog are the crab gauge. Let me tell you, by California law, every single crabber, every single person is required to have one per person. And this is make sure that you know how to measure your crab so that way you take the legal size. So again, these are very important by law that you need to have one. So make sure you order you a crab gauge, okay? Take a look at the catalog and take a look at the description and price. That's my store, everybody. I want to thank you so much for staying in there with me and looking through each individual items. And again, if you want a free digital catalog, email me at thejoyofcalifornia at gmail.com and just let me know that you've seen my YouTube video and you'd like to receive a free catalog. I'll go ahead and shoot you over one and you're more than welcome to pass your catalog along to other people as well. I want to thank you so much for taking a look at the items in my store. And again, it's about having fun. So grab what you need, go out there, have fun with your family, and let's catch some crabs, okay? Until next time, peace out.